I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com and I want to talk about Yahoo a little bit or actually kind of more specifically Alibaba. You know, everybody's all lathered up about that IPO and, you know, I've heard so much talk about this that and I don't know, I don't know any, I don't need to know anything about it. It's just in the headlines and, you know, whatever, Yahoo's a big owner, blah, 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 blah. I can't imagine that stock being higher on the second day that it is traded at all because there's so much enthusiasm about it that I think you're going to get just the big massive pile in right away. Everybody's got to get this stock. It's like the second coming of Google, not. Um, so the point is, if you're going to buy Alibaba, be a day trader. That's all I can say. Another way to, I, I, well, no, I got to use the term play. Like, I don't think there's anything about playing in the stock market, but a lot of people talk about that. Like, ooh, a best, another way to play such and such. Dude, you play football, okay? You don't play with stocks. But if you want to play Alibaba, you can look at Yahoo because this is going to wind up being a good trade one way or another. Um, we just don't know. I could guess, and then if I'm right, I would really impress you, uh, but I'm not going to do that. The stock's trading, If forget about Alibaba for a minute, the stock's trading in a really nice multi-month little cup here. What you'd hope is you get a little handle down here and then a breakout. It could happen, but I'm just looking at this more short term. If Yahoo breaks out and closes above this high of 41.72 so we got a couple more bucks to go if it closes above that level then this is a stock that's probably done consolidating and likely going to continue higher i mean you can really see it on the weekly chart but my bet is first of all you know I'm not some clever individual who's decided that, ooh, one way to trade Alibaba is by looking at you. If you want to get in on Alibaba's IPO, just buy some Yahoo. That's not exactly a news-breaking idea. So that stuff has already been baked into the price of the stock. Do you really think that it's that easy to just buy Yahoo and get the same bang for the buck as you would have if you had bought Alibaba somehow before the IPO. The bottom line is, in my view, this is an easier way to trade Alibaba. If Alibaba pops way up, you're going to get every knucklehead in the world buying Yahoo, which is fine. And maybe the knuckleheads will turn out to be right, again, if the stock breaks above 41.72 or so. But if the stock gaps up, and Alibaba starts rolling over, you're probably going to see a lot. First of all, you're going to be able to short Yahoo. You can't short um, an IPO, at least I don't think so. Um, so this could turn out to be a good short. Ultimately, though, I think that if you wind up getting a decent pullback in Yahoo, it would be a good trade on its own. But for now, I'm just looking at it as kind of a smoother, lower risk vehicle for trading, um, you know, around this Alibaba thing. Um, by the way, this is something that we'll be looking at in the forum uh, on, when Alibaba starts trading, because that should be pretty interesting. Um, one last thing, and this is all about, so I'm all done here with Yahoo, so you can leave if you must. But um, we actually got a lot of signups last week at Stock Market Mentor. Just because I kind of pounded the table in the email saying like, why aren't you a member of Stock Market Mentor? A lot of people couldn't think of a reason. Um, so they decided to join. You get a 30-day a uh, trial membership. So now I'm hitting you up directly and I'm looking you square in the face. And I'm asking you, why aren't you a member of Stock Market Mentor? Look, I'm doing this. Of course, I'm doing it for the money. I love making money. But if you like making money, you should belong too. Because what we do there is just help people trade better and make money. It's a lot of fun. 
I don't usually pound the table like this. In fact, I hardly ever do because I hate selling. I would just rather work on trading, but I'm actually pretty good at selling. So I'm telling you right now, don't make me look bad. Okay, if you're getting these free videos, you haven't paid anything for Stock Market Mentor, why don't you do yourself a favor and at least check it out for 30 days, okay? Now, let me see how many members I get from hitting it this way as opposed to the email. 